I'm excited to I see that. Yum. yum, this is so good. So nice. You don't want to look back on your life and meet this amazing version of yourself and have so much regret and be like, wow, I didn't even come close. It's just like a little basic tank. It's really nice and soft. Made myself a matcha. You guys hear that construction outside? We had to have a visit to the vet. Bagel. I forgot for a second. It's like a beef brisket bagel. It is so good. You guys know the deal. So have some fresh berries. Be grateful for what you have in front of you right now because you're never going to get this time back. This tastes so good. Welcome back. I am finally back home. I'm so excited to be vlogging again. Apologies for how I'm looking right now. I probably look really different and I'm probably scaring you guys. But basically, my lashes all came off while I was away and we are doing the no lash life at the moment. I am actually about to head to some appointments, so I'm going to be getting my lashes lifted and tinted. I know it's a really big surprise for you guys. I'm really nervous and I'm really scared because as you can see, I literally have no natural lashes. They're really small, they're really blonde, and I really don't think that there's anything we're gonna be able to do, but I am gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a go and see, you know, how it goes, see what we can sort of achieve. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for it because I don't know, it might be inspirational, motivational for one of you if you are in the same position and you always get lash extensions because you have blonde natural barely there non-existent lashes like I do so we'll see how it goes I'm really excited because if it does work I'll be really happy and just yeah obviously really excited about it but then if it doesn't really work I'm gonna be really sad so we'll be on this journey together I'm also gonna get my brows done usually I just get them tinted but because like shaped and tinted but because I am getting lash like lash lift and tint instead of what I would usually get which is my lash extensions I figured I might do a brow lamination because I haven't had that done in ages and usually I can't really get it done because my eyebrows are too shaped almost so my brow hairs need to be grown out a little bit more for it to work or so I'm told so um, because I've obviously been away for five weeks now um, surely there will be enough hair to sort of do something with that so we'll have to wait and see I'm all ready to go I'll show you guys my outfit really quickly as well it's actually so cute I'm so glad to be home and back with the boys hey boys what are you doing? How'd you go? Um, even though I was like, honestly, I could have stayed in Europe for so much longer, but yeah, it's good being back home, being back in routine, being able to work out again as well. And I've been so good with my routine since being home as well. I've been getting up at 4.30 every morning, walking the dogs from 5 to 5.30, and then going to either Pilates or a workout session from six till seven and then go for my morning walk from seven till eight and then sauna from eight till 8 30 and i'm just feeling amazing i'm so proud of myself i'm just trying to stay on top of things and just make sure i'm staying in really good routine while jake's away and yeah i just want to kind of keep the momentum going so that's the plan but this is today's outfit of the day it's very just like casual vibes i really like it though the whole outfit is princess polly so my top is princess polly jeans are princess polly this top is new but the jeans i've had for honestly like years now or maybe yeah at least a year or two i think so i don't even know if they have them online anymore but i love them so much they're such a good fit this top is, yeah, really cute. And then these sunglasses are also Princess Polly. They always sell out though. So if you ever see them in stock, make sure you get your hands on them quickly because they're honestly such a good fit and I'm obsessed with them. Every single time I film a haul or something with them, everyone's always asking where they're from. And then I'll just wear my Louis Vuitton loop bag and then just my sandals. They are Tony Bianco. And then I got my nails done yesterday. I got French tip and I honestly don't know how I feel about them to be honest. I don't think I like them. I'm really on the fence. I just really don't know. And I also got my toes done but they actually forgot to put the clear on my big toe just on the left side. So I'm going to have to go back in at some point and get them to fix that up because yeah they totally forgot. But yeah these are the sandals I wore during most of my time in Europe and you guys were always asking where they're from. And they're so comfy and I'd definitely recommend them. They're amazing. They look so cute with just a little like summer dress. So about to have lunch before I head off to my appointment. I just have some roast pumpkin cooking there. Oh, sorry. Um, just to have with the mints I'm having for lunch. I was literally home for a day and Romy had to have a visit to the vet. Didn't you, my little baby? Hey. 
he's such a little cutie pie he randomly just vomited up bile like a heap of bile so i took him to the vet and we got his bloods and stuff done and he was fine but i've just been keeping an eye on him since i honestly don't know what it is i think it could even be i don't know if this is a thing but because he misses cj so jake's dad sorry jake's brother who lives with his dad also has a sausage dog and he's just a little bit older than milo i'm um, sorry a little bit older than romy so whenever they go and stay at Jake's dad's house. Milo sleeps the whole time because he's literally a grandpa. And then Romy plays with CJ the whole time. So I don't know if it's just because he missed him or something. I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah. Yum. Pumpkin is roasted. I've been so obsessed with pumpkin ever since doing that cleanse before I left for Europe. It's so yummy and honestly, it's just really versatile. I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm just going to have this mince that I am also obsessed with. I've actually showed you guys this before in a previous vlog. I made it with, what did I make it with? I made it with pasta, but I couldn't have pasta when I was doing the cleanse and I was really craving this. So I just made it with the roast pumpkin and honestly, it gets the job done. It's basically the same sort of vibe it's really yummy so if you're after something really healthy it literally looks like dog food but trust me it's really yummy it's just because it's just been sat in the fridge it's just beef mince broccoli tomato paste coconut milk and then the key ingredient it will literally not taste the same unless you do this you have to add or you can add garlic as well you have to add a heap of salt pepper and chili flakes chili flakes specifically honestly just use like I really need to measure it out so I know exactly how much to tell you, but add heaps, like a teaspoon worth, maybe even more. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have this for lunch. I just need to heat that up. Are you guys the same? I literally love the skin of my pumpkin. Mm, it's so good and sweet. I'm going to load this up in here. So yeah, usually I'd have pasta with this, but... When I was on the cleanse, I couldn't. And then, uh, honestly, that pasta is really carby. So if you are wanting to watch your figure a little bit, then this is a really good substitute. You can also use cauliflower rice. I did that one of the days, and that was really yummy as well. And then I just made enough pumpkin for both today and tomorrow's lunches. I just put this away, but then I realized I may as well just put the pumpkin straight into here for tomorrow. The rest of it. So that it's all ready to go. I'm the type of person though, even if I've got something in a container, I have to get it out and make it look pretty before I eat it because I just enjoy my meal more that way. I don't know if that's just me or not, but it's definitely a thing. It's like romanticizing your life vibes, you know? Yum. And then I also have some parsley in the fridge. I think I just might add a little bit of that on top. And then also some salt and pepper because I think you can never have too much salt and pepper. Actually, I'm just gonna do salt because honestly there's enough pepper in here. Yum! And this is lunch. Honestly, if someone told me to eat this and they showed me this, I would be like, no, that looks so boring. But trust me, it is so delicious. It literally gives off the same vibe as like vodka pasta because you've got the tomato paste and creamy element from the coconut milk. So don't mock it till you try it. I honestly would suggest this to everyone. It's such a simple and easy meal and it's really good for you. You've got your protein from the mince. You obviously have your carbs from the pumpkin, but it's still super low carb and then very minimal ingredients as well. You literally only have, what is there? One, two three four there's literally like five ingredients and then your seasoning which is absolutely nothing so i would absolutely recommend giving this a try it's really good the next task will be making sure i don't get this all over my white shirt mm. it's so good even you know a really easily microwavable dish to have the next day as well you know when you reheat things and they just don't taste that good this reheats really well. So if you need to prepare stuff for lunches or whatever, it's a really good dish as well. I was also cleaning before and I wanted to run this thought by you because I thought it was like definitely, it's something I know, but it was definitely a little bit of an epiphany moment for me. Basically, I was cleaning the kitchen and I was just so annoyed at the kitchen because I tried to film something last night and the lighting was just really bad. Basically, the lighting in this kitchen, it's really beautiful if you are just living in it, but if it's for content creation purposes, it's really bad quality on the iPhone anyway. It's just really white 
white so the colors don't really pick up that well it's not there's not like enough contrasting colors basically for it to look really good it just looks really blurry and like it's just not it basically which sounds really silly but when content creation is your job and especially for me you guys know i love food content i love cooking and all that sort of stuff so for me it's something that's really annoying and i was basically cleaning the kitchen and i was just so annoyed at this kitchen i was like i'm so excited to move out of here in six months time i can't wait i've been looking at realestate.com and doing all the things and just getting really excited to leave here basically and then i was like actually you know what i need to make the most of these next six months because i actually love this apartment so much aside from the kitchen and the content side of things i love this apartment it is so perfect it's the perfect size for jake and i and the boys it is it has everything i need the facilities here are amazing we have a pool we have a sauna we have a steam room we have an upstairs um like event space that you can hire out we have office spaces we have the gym here we literally have everything all the staff i love they are so nice i love the receptionist i love the cleaners i love our maintenance man gary he is amazing so yeah basically i love this apartment and there's only one thing that has been annoying me about it and i was like you know what ali in six months time you're gonna miss living here you're gonna be so mad at yourself for not making the most of it and enjoying what you have at your fingertips what if in six months time i'm living in a house and i don't have a concierge that has my packages for me from 9 a.m to 5 p.m or i don't have gary greeting me down in the gym saying good morning or i don't have you you know i don't know the sauna or something like that literally at my fingertips or the beach on my doorstep and in six months time i might be wishing i had that and i'm gonna be so annoyed with myself for putting so much energy into worrying about a damn kitchen i feel like this definitely applies to everything in life whether it's a situation whether it's a person maybe it's someone you really care about that's really getting on your nerves and you're sick of their shit basically but there's going to be those key things about them that you really love and you're going to miss one day. So yeah, it might even be, I don't know, you might still be living at home and you're sick of your parents, but one day you're going to miss having them around all the time, whether it's a small conversation or something they do for you or they don't do for you or I don't know, you just might miss it one day. So just, this is your reminder to be grateful for what you have in front of you right now because you're never going to get this time back and you never know what the future has in store for you. So that's my little, just my little morning wisdom that I had. I need to give myself a little spritz of Rooney. Also, don't judge the state of my jewelry situation right now. I really need to go through all of that since getting back from Europe. I just sort of just like chucked it all in there, but I need to reorganize. detailed yesterday and look how schmick she is looking i dropped it off while i got my nails done i was a very productive girl and she's looking good oh no this angle is not here i just look really like my traps are trapping <laughs> Maybe wait, lift up a second. Okay, and then go down. And then maybe I'll like is that press them. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I need to get those injections, you know, the injections that like reduce your traps. Have you seen them? No. It's like a thing. Um yeah. It like reduces the Oh my god. And it takes like four to six weeks though. But I don't know how good that is for you. No, I was gonna say Yeah, it's probably not great. I don't know how that how that would work out. So Shirelle is going to do, oh my god, my battery's about to run out. So that's just really great. Okay, I mean, um, I know, I thought it would be fine, but yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna have to save my battery life for the reveal, but she was just saying my lashes. My natural lashes look sort of long, so yeah, that's right. I'm excited to see them after. I'll report back. Oh my god, you guys, I am obsessed. They look so good. If you want to see the live reaction, I filmed it for TikTok. And we had to take all my makeup off, obviously, around my eyes. So I look a little bit crazy, but they look insane. And then we also did a brow lamination, and I'm so happy. Sherelle absolutely slayed. Look at my lashes. Who knew they were there? Little natural girly. I just got back home and I grabbed some packages from reception on the way up. I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got. Got a few things from Baby Brew. They just sent me some of their new collection that they have dropping. And then some of this I need to shoot. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll shoot yet, but I'll try it all on and then decide. And then you are so cute. I love you. And then I also just got this tumbler off of Amazon. I'll get it out and show you as well. I also got some earrings from Heaven Mayhem. I've had my eye on them for a while, but they're on pre-order. I actually got some other ones as well as these. Oh, I'll grab it out and show you. I'll just grab everything out and show you because it's too hard doing it 
one-handed um but yeah basically i'd have my eyes on some for a while but they were always on pre-order and then they finally got some back in stock one of my favorite tiktok girlies uses this and i just love the color of it i love the aesthetic and i think it's super cute you guys know i love my homewares this is it just like a sort of like beigey colored tumbler and it's really cute it's insulated as well so if you do want to put hot drinks in there you can and then you've got the lid with the straw super cute i love it put the straw in there as well does the straw like just pop in oh there's two different oh there's two different lids oh my god cute so you can either have i love this even more now so if you want a hot drink in there you have your little like sippy lid and then if you want your straw in there you actually have a little push top oh no you just oh it's, okay so it's literally silicon there so that it doesn't leak and you just push it through wow i love this so nice that is stunning i'm obsessed with that next up i'll show you guys these earrings that i got i actually ordered another pair as well but they are actually on pre-order but not for i think the pre-order wait wasn't too long it's only like two weeks so i got these big gorgeous gold earrings and i just think they're so pretty i'm so excited to wear these some big statement earrings and i love the little bag that it comes in as well it's just really simple but effective i feel like sometimes a lot of jewelry just comes with all of this excess packaging that you really don't need so that's perfect love those and then what else did i get i also got a new tripod because i left mine with jake in london because he needed one so I got a new one and I really like this tripod. It is slightly different to my last one. My last one had a rounded edge. So honestly, it was like basically the exact same. Um, but this one's really good just because it's really compact. So you can just put it in your handbag and then card it around with you really easily. Except for it does look a bit strange because of the shape of it. Like carrying this around, if it's not in a bag, looks really bizarre. But yeah, it's really handy. And then it just literally goes so big. So if you have ever been on the hunt for a really good tripod, this one's great. So it actually goes longer. I think it's like 60 inches. It's massive. And then you just... oh! oh my God, you have to be careful though because that's snapped shut and it's really like, it'll hurt, it'll pinch you. So there's that one. And she goes nice and compact afterwards. And then what else? Oh, I did also get this tumbler as well, except for I wish I just got the Stanley one because they did actually have the Stanley in stock. I don't know. I couldn't decide if I like the branding or not, though. So I'll show you guys. It's basically like a dupe to the Stanley one. Except they did have the Stanley one in stock. So I don't know. Do we like the branding or do we not like the branding? It's huge. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. It's massive. And it's a lot more like I thought it would be the same color as this one. But they're very different. So this one's definitely more like yellow buttery. And then this one's definitely more like gray. Which one do we prefer? I think I like both of them. This is massive. I was not expecting it to be this big. So fun. So it just like moves open and then you have your straw. Okay, I think I love it. It's cute, right? I actually really like the size of it and how like plain it is. Okay, I think we made a good decision there. And then, yeah, we just have all those clothes. This is all the baby brew stuff. It is so cute. I wanted to ask you guys a question as well because an influencer page was complaining that I put my stuff on Depop, but basically, as you guys know, I live in a really small apartment. There's really not that much room here. I'm also not a lazy person. So the second I've shot something or worn it for whatever its purpose was for, I basically put it straight in my Depop pile, ready for it to be uploaded on a Monday so that it can go to a new home and be rehomed. And people seem to think that just because I'm placing it on Depop doesn't mean I love it, doesn't mean I don't think it's amazing. I just want you guys to know in case anyone else is being confused as well, that just because I'm moving on from an item doesn't mean I don't still love it. I don't still think it's beautiful. You can always get rid of something and still have, you know, a level of respect and appreciation for it. For example, these beautiful dresses, I need to shoot in at least one to two of them. And does that mean I don't still love each and every single one of them? No, of course I love them. I think they're all beautiful. They're amazing quality and I just want them to go to a really good home. And it also does give one of my friends as well an extra income as well. It gives her work for the week. So I don't know. I feel like I was weighing up the pros and cons to doing Depop because it was getting a little bit of a bad rap for me personally anyway. And people seem a little bit bothered that I'm putting stuff up on Depop. But I would love to know your thoughts on the situation. Yeah, like I said, I was weighing up the pros and cons and the pros honestly do outweigh the cons. I can put this 
all like I can donate this stuff as well the only thing is I feel like you guys really like being able to purchase it so I don't know I'm in a little bit of a pickle in my mindset as well and I also don't know why I'm specifically copying backlash for this when so many other influencers do that I feel like it's great that we're able to recycle these clothing so that they get a second wear from someone that loves the item and also some of your favorite influencers they might not do depop but they do a huge clothing store you know once a year or something like that so they shove it all to the side and then do that later but I just don't have the space for that so that's why I do this every single week like I said it gives my friend income so I don't know I really don't know what to do I feel really like crappy about it to be honest and I feel really bad because I hate upsetting people and uh, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on it but that's just my side of things I'm in a little bit I'm just feeling really torn so I'd love to know your thoughts basically but yeah in terms of this stuff it is all stunning baby Bruce quality is amazing I actually bought this dress myself in the white crochet when it first came out a while ago it would have been at least six months ago now and it's beautiful so they've done like this long sleeve version which is really pretty and then this is gorgeous again really well made it has the boning through here and honestly they just nail it this is really cute it also came with a little extra neck frill if you want to jazz it up a little bit the frills are definitely very in for this collection and then we also have this little pink number you can't really tell but sort of just like has the halter neck there and it's really cute and then we just have a little black sort of halter neck style as well which is again really pretty i'm just gonna have to talk to you guys from the mirror right now because all of my makeup has come off from that appointment and i really need to take my face off oh ring we finally got up he was just trying to jump up for so long um but i'm about to jump in the shower and i'll take all my makeup off and stuff and show you how my lashes are looking with a nice fresh face but i am so happy with how they look you guys I'm literally shocked at how amazing they are and I was not expecting that sort of result. So I'm very, very happy. This is your sign if you've been tossing up getting it done or not to ditch the lash extensions and try out a lash lift because I'm really happy with the results. Obviously keep you guys updated as I, you know, go on my journey with the no lash life. See how I go with, you know, wearing false lashes and individual lashes and things like that, which I did dabble in while I was in London, which is so hard by the way why didn't no one tell me how hard it is to do individual lash extensions I thought it'd be a breeze and I was literally sat there for like an hour just trying to get it right and it was really hard but I got there eventually um so yeah I'll let you guys know how I go but all in all I'm really really happy and I'm excited because I feel like it's just less maintenance not that your lash extensions really require much maintenance but I don't know I feel like it'll just be easier and I'll feel a lot more fresh faced all the time which is amazing as well so Speaking of going a little bit more natural as well, after my lash appointment, I was hoping to vlog it, but I did go to the doctors because I needed a referral for my appointment with One Cosmetic. Basically, One Cosmetic is where I went and got my boobs done. It was five years ago now. I can't believe it's literally been that long. It's crazy, and I'm so happy with the results. Don't get me wrong. Dr. Wessels is amazing, but from the moment I got my boobs done, I just wish I'd gone smaller. I hadn't really done enough research, I don't think, especially taking into consideration my height with my breast size and out of all of my friends i was one of the first ones to get my boobs done as well so all my friends that got them done after me i feel like i was able to give them a heap of info and a heap of guidance whereas i really didn't have that when i went to get mine done so even after i'd gotten them done i went back and saw dr wessels twice about getting them revised and smaller but he did tell me which is great and i am so glad that he did because he really wanted me to think about it he's just said to um obviously keep an eye on it obviously they were really fresh the first time I went and saw him so he was like look they're really fresh they're gonna go down in size which they did and then the second time he was like yeah it's definitely something we can do if you're 100% sure the only thing is that we would have to do a lift because we're going small if the skin has stretched which would require a scar from basically your nipple down which I really really didn't want or he said we could look into an inbuilt bra that is a little bit more invasive I think from memory I'm not 100% sure I'll have to update this information but yeah he said it was a little bit more invasive so I just wasn't really sure and I was like look I just don't know so I went away have been thinking about it still and it's honestly still been on my mind ever since so 
I'm going back again for another appointment just to explore my actual options and also two of my girlfriends Emily and Tasha have both had the inbuilt bra since and I haven't had any issues so I think that's the option I'm going to go with basically if I have to get the incision from um, my nipple down I'm not doing it that's been my non-negotiable the whole time when considering this but if there is another option then I will consider it because it is something I've wanted to get done so I have that appointment in a few days and I'll bring you guys along to that as well actually and let you know how I go but that's just a little update honestly yeah it's not something I have just it's just like come to mind it's something that I've had on my mind ever since I got them done so it's been like five years now my boobs are amazing don't get me wrong I love them I'm so happy with the results especially if I'm wearing like a top like this or just something that has not much support I'm obsessed with them but anytime I've got support I just don't love that look on me personally that really lifted like heavy look um, especially in swimwear and just really supportive tops or corset tops. I don't like, I don't personally love that on me. So yeah, that's a little update, but I'm going to jump in the shower now, take off all this makeup. I also need to organize this room because it is mayhem. Actually, sorry. It actually is organized to be honest. What is that over there? What is that? Oh, that's just my, um, I also got a, I was like, what is this? But Cheryl gave me this to wear in the shower. She said I need to put that like on my eyebrows or something to keep my lashes from getting wet. And then this is just, I'm gonna get my bloods done. I've never had my bloods done before. So when I went to the doctors, he gave me a referral for that as well. But this is basically everything that I'm needing to shoot at the moment. So I have a heap of Princess Polly stuff. I need to film a haul tomorrow. This is my updated code, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but that is my code. My selects for this month are so cute for Princess Polly. Like this little black mini skirt is adorable. This green top is so hot on. This is actually um, from one of my previous months, but I love this bag. And this little set is so cute on. I can't wait for you guys to see that. So I think that'll be live before this video anyway. And then I just also have some stuff from Baby Boo and PLT that I need to shoot. I'm taking my makeup off and I'm just making dinner and my lashes, sorry, my lashes look amazing. My brows do look amazing as well. They're just a little bit darker than I'm used to, but Sherelle said that they will soften out over the next few days. They just start off a little bit stronger. So they are quite dark at the moment, but hopefully they calm down a little bit. I'm just having leftovers for dinner basically. Last night I made a pumpkin soup. It is so good. You guys have to try my pumpkin soup recipe. It's literally so simple. I was having this again when I was on the cleanse and it's literally just roast pumpkin. So roast it in the oven for like 40 minutes, however long it takes to roast your pumpkin. Make sure you don't have the skin on though, obviously. And then I just blend it up with some coconut cream, a heap of salt, pepper, and chili flakes again. And then the secret ingredients are some cumin powder and curry powder and it makes it it's so delicious. It is so good, you guys. And then you can have protein with it if you want as well. But I'm just going to have the soup itself and then just some bread. I just got this from the bakery yesterday. So I'm just going to have some bread. I'm just toasting it in the frying pan with some butter. And then, yeah, that's dinner for tonight. And then I'm trying to work out what I want to watch tonight. I did just start watching a new series, which I'm really lacking so far. I've only watched one episode and I really like it. It's on Paramount, which is so random, but it's called called lioness such a random name but it's really good it's like a like war by one i guess like a modern day war sort of one and then all like cia vibes i don't know if it's even cia to be honest but yeah that sort of vibe or I actually finished the summer i turned pretty on my flight back home but my whole tiktok is filled with all of the conrad and jeremiah like tiktoks and i just i think i'm gonna go back and watch the final episode again because it was honestly so good the kissing scene sorry spoiler alert the kissing scene between i'm not gonna say who you've surely already seen it but if you haven't you need to go watch it immediately honestly the soundtrack in uh, the summer i turn pretty is so good and it absolutely makes it i'm so glad they got the rights to use those songs in the season because it's so good. Like EXO by Beyonce when they're hooking up. It's just everything and I die inside. It's so cute. I should probably flip these over. So yeah, I'm really torn. I don't know if I want to do that or 
I think just me talking about it has gotten me really motivated to watch it again. So I think that's all we're gonna do. I've decided to go Please. with Please. Summer I Turn Pretty. And this is dinner. So yum. I've honestly been craving this since I had it. Wow, that is so loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you can tell I listen to the TV really loudly. I've honestly been craving this since I had it for dinner last night. It's so good. And bread toasted like this is honestly so elevated and delicious compared to just toasting it in the toaster. Just makes it like really yummy and crispy and buttery. It's so good. Woo! Excited. Okay. Well, I don't know if you knew this, but um, Belly gets motion sickness when she reads in cars. Did you know that? I did. Oh, not that actually. Yeah, but Belly took Dramamine earlier so that she could quiz you for your test. Yeah, of course. Keep it. If you haven't seen this episode yet, then fast forward. But oh my gosh, this scene, I'm so excited. Oh! In the darkest night, I'll search through the crowd. And then he picks her up, and I literally want to crumble. Stop. Good morning. It is 4 30 a.m. up bright and early to walk the dogs. I'm not gonna lie, this morning was a little bit harder than the past few mornings I've been getting up early, just because each night I've been going to bed progressively a little bit later. So I need to make sure I'm staying on top of that and going to bed on time. I just put lip balm absolutely everywhere. I always put way too much on and goes everywhere. Can you guys hear that construction outside? I've opened up the doors now that I'm awake, just so I can let in the fresh air. But the construction at night time is so wild. If you long, live along the Gold Coast Highway, you will know, you will understand. It has been going on for months and it is crazy. It's not too bad if I close the doors, but still, absolute chaos. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready now. I just need to get myself a glass of water before anything. Because I love water. H2O is really great to have first thing in the morning upon waking before anything else, before your lips touch any coffee, caffeine, pre-workout, supplements, anything. Just have some water on its own first. I'm really tired. My brows are really dark as you guys can see. It's also really hard for me to drink out of a straw because I got a lip flip right before I went away to Europe, so I literally drink like a duck. <sighs> okay, let's unstack this dishwasher. I'm just gonna like put you guys on this chair. I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll see. Time to make the bed. I also really want to get some new bedding for summer, but I don't know what color. Like, do I want yellow? Do I want pink? Do I want like a plaid sort of color? Or gingham, sorry, is what I mean. Do I want gingham? Do I want Jeff Avenue? Let me know your thoughts. up we have sauna sesh i'm currently reading i'll show you guys another colleen hoover book surprise surprise i thought i'd read them all but i actually came across this one that i hadn't read yet when i was in where was i, I think it was in london because i actually finished reading the book i was reading while on holidays and 
I was so sad. I was like, it's fine. I'll just get another book overseas. And every single bookshop I went into, I was so dumb for thinking this. I should have just ordered one on Amazon or downloaded audiobooks, but I honestly didn't think about it because I'm so used to reading actual hard copies. And obviously the ones in Italy were in Italian. The ones in Greece were in Greek. And then the ones in Spain were Spanish. So that was really dumb of me. So the second I got to London, I bought a book, but by that point I was too busy anyway. So I brought it home with me and it's actually really good. I'm really liking it so far. It's only quite small. Like it's just a little small read, but it's really good so far. So I'm really liking it. And then I just do 15 minutes. Hello, my little babies. I know, I can't give you kisses because I just finished doing my makeup. Good morning officially guys. I've just finished getting ready. Romy's going crazy. I finished getting ready because I have a heap of work to get done today. I'm a little bit nervous about it because there is so much but I'm also feeling very determined and I'm just sending a positive energy out to the universe that I will get it done. So that's the plan. I also just realized I was crying laughing getting my lashes done yesterday because of a story. So I need to remember to tell you guys this story at some point. I don't have time right now but please remind me because honestly I had a moment during my travels home and it was it was a moment. That's the last day for now but I was literally like crying while um, Sherelle was doing my lashes yesterday and I was like I'm so sorry. Like we were just both laughing so much. So I need to remember to tell you guys. But yeah, I've got a lot of content to get done today that I'm really, yeah, like I said, hoping I can get done. I have to shoot some Instagram photos. I have to film a Princess Polly uh, YouTube haul. And then I also need to film a Princess Polly TikTok haul. And then I need to edit all of the above. Plus I need to edit a heap of content that I filmed while I was away that I still haven't edited yet. And I need to get that done ASAP before it's completely irrelevant anymore. So I need to make sure I prioritize that. But I will check in with you guys when uh, I have updates of how, how I'm going. I'm also just wearing this like, it's like a little onesie romper from Princess Polly. And it is so cute and comfy. I love it. I'm looking a little bit greasy, but that's what happens after shooting content all day. I actually managed to get so much done. I am so happy with myself. I got way more done than I was expecting. So I'm feeling very, very proud. I managed to get at least three to four photos shot with Natisse. And then I also got my Princess Polly haul filmed. And then also, so I did YouTube and then also my TikTok. So go me. Very proud of myself. I'm gonna head out to some afternoon drinks with my friend. I'm so excited, I am starving, but I'm running a little bit late. So I'll quickly show you guys my outfit and then I've got a dash off. Nice outfit off the night, so cute. I actually had this set on before so I was filming for Princess Polly. And yeah, it's from Princess Polly. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wear that out tonight. It is so adorable. So we just have this little mini skirt. It has the lace detailing around the top and then the top also has the lace detailing as well. And it's so cute. I love how it looks with the tan accessories as well. I'm about to head off to meet Sophia for breakfast. We're meeting at Tarte to catch up and I'm so excited to see her and catch up with her. It's going to be a really nice start to my morning. I'm very, very excited. I'm still adjusting to the no lash life, but I think I'm loving it. Honestly, I feel just really nice and fresh, which I really like. I feel like I look more awake and just more like myself, which is really nice. And I thought it would look a little bit strange, like having full, like a full face of makeup than no lashes, but I'm kind of into it. So let me know what you guys think as well. I'll show you guys my outfit quickly too. I'm just wearing a really casual fit. It's all wet fox. It's just like a little basic tank. It's really nice and soft. And then these black denim low waisted pants. They're such a good fit. And then just my sambas. And then just my bag. I also have my Celine Sunnies as well. My new ones. Oh, almost all over the sun. My new ones just to really tie everything together. I'm going for very, I don't know, really relaxed vibes, I guess. But I really like this outfit. It's cute. And then I have a heap of errands to run after breakfast. I need to go and get the dogs more dog food. Really boring stuff. I need to get them more dog food because 
I think they a little bit of TMI basically their poos have been really hard recently so I spoke with the vet about it and she suggested some new food so she sent me a new meal plan for them to trial so I'm going to get them some more dog food so that we can give that a go and see if that helps with their digestion and whatnot and then I need to try and get some new skincare I actually ran out while I was in Europe and where I get my skincare from they're always closed every time I've made to go there this week they've been closed so I'm hoping that they're open today wish me luck basically I use the DMK products but you can't just purchase it online they're only available at certain stockists so I need to find a really good stockist because this one isn't the best and they don't always have everything either so if you guys know of anywhere on the Gold Coast please let me know I also realized I forgot to update you guys earlier this year when I was trying out the Paula's Choice products and that my skin just wasn't loving them so for me personally I went back to DMK basically if it's not broken don't fix it my skin was honestly so fine before that and then I went and started using the Paula's Choice stuff for something new and then my skin was just like not having it and I think it was partially because I didn't give it a red hot crack I know you need to trial things for a little while for them to actually start working um, properly but I'm just going back to DMK because I just couldn't really deal with that at that time so back to DMK and my skin's been good again but yeah, I need to get some new moisturizer and things like that as well. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully they're open. And then I need to just get some groceries as well. So nothing too exciting, but I'll bring you guys along anyway. Here and I are sharing... What is this? this bagel. A bagel. I, don't know what it is, I forgot for a second. It's like a beef brisket it bagel. It is so though. good. Jake and I had it a while ago and it is literally 10 out of 10. There's like beef brisket, cheese. I think it's like pickled cucumber or something and like some barbecue sauce. And we're also waiting on chicken sandwich, but that's going to be a little while. Yeah. Missed you and your pretty little face. And the chicken and the, sandwich. Yeah. I know. Are you excited? I am excited. We've talked it up a lot. So. Yeah, I know. It's really good though. I hope yeah. you like it. Well, everyone said it's good. So yeah. So cool. you're sort of in the clear. How addicted I was to maxi bonds. I would have one every single day. Yum. I'm not gonna do it to myself, but they look really good. Uh, that ended up taking so much longer than I'd planned. I ended up stopping in at Rabina instead of my normal shopping center, which is at Pacific Fair, just because I ended up finding my skincare at Skin Rabina. So that's the skin clinic that's owned by Emily and Amy Hembro. And it's so beautiful in there. I also don't know if I'm pronouncing their last name correctly, by the way. But I've never been there before and it's so beautiful. So I would definitely recommend going there if you have been on the hunt for a new skin clinic. I've heard their treatments are amazing as well. But yeah, they had a full stock worth of... All the DMK stuff. So very happy about that. I'll show you guys what I got in a second. I thought I'd just show you what I got grocery wise first. So I just got a heap of stuff to stock up the fridge again because we cleaned it all out before we went overseas. So now it's really empty and bare. So I just got a few sort of staple things and then also just some stuff for next week to eat. I still need to get some protein, but yeah, I just got a few bits and pieces just for over the weekend and the next few days anyway. So I'll just run you through what I got basically. Also, before I tell you guys like what I got and what for, I also bought three peaches for $21. And when I realized they were $21, I got her to refund me because I love peaches, but there is no way I'm spending $21 on three peaches, unfortunately. So we had to say goodbye to those. But honestly, the pricing of some things at the moment is so wild. There must be like a major shortage of peaches or something, but I'm really in the mood for them. So I'm honestly really sad about it. I was like, do I send the $21? But I was like, you know what, Ali, that is just dumb. So we're not doing that. 
but yeah, I'll show you guys what I got and what for. So basically, I just got some bananas to make some smoothies, some protein smoothies, and then also to have in my yogurt as well. Also, just got some little immunity shots, got some cocoa, coconut yogurt um, to have with some fresh fruit and granola and stuff. I also just got some Yopros to make the overnight like Yopros with like a wheat bix as well because I still have some wheat bix. Also just got some unsweetened almond milk to have with my protein smoothies as well. Same with the coconut milk as well. I just like to alternate. I have a little bit of an option there. And then I also just came across these as well. That looked really yummy and we're heading into summer. So I thought I would just stockpile our fridge for when people come over. If they're feeling like a beverage, then they can have one of those. Also just got some ice long blacks as well. And then yeah, Coke Zeros and some sparkling water. And then I think I'm going to make some cinnamon sugar French toast tomorrow morning. I've actually never made that before. So I've got some brioche French toast because I feel like that will be really yummy compared to the normal bread. Also, it's got some jam just to have with like croissants and stuff when we buy them or to have with crepes on Sundays. And then eggs for pancakes, crepes, scrambled eggs. I also saw on a girl's TikTok that she had some eggs, cherry tomatoes, rocket, and also feta on sourdough. And I still have some bread left from when I was making my pumpkin soup. So I figured I would make that. I feel like that will be really yummy. I also got the tomatoes and garlic to make tomato soup as well because I'm obsessed with tomato soup at the moment. I just love soups. So I got those for that. Um, yeah, like I said, the feta is for the sourdough. Basil is for tomato soup as well. And then just some fresh fruit to have with my yogurt, oats, smoothies, pancakes, whatever I sort of feel like. And then you guys know, if you watch the LA vlog, that me and Atis were obsessed with the Tony's chocolate. And I saw this flavor and it looks really yummy, the chocolate pretzel toffee. So I feel like that's a little bit of me. So I got that to just have in the pantry for whenever I get a little bit peckish. And then these are a few random bits and pieces, but from Skin, I just got the milk cleanser. I have the other cleanser as well, but I feel like because my skin is really dry, it might be a little bit too harsh. It's just a deep pore cleanser. So I got this one because it's a cleansing lotion. So it's a little bit softer and more gentle on the skin. So I figured I would give this one a try instead and then save the other one for when I need a more intense wash of the face or cleanse, sorry. And then I just also got the moisturizer that I get and it's just called the AccuMoist Hydrating Lotion with SPF. And then I also got these. This is all taped up because they obviously, this was the last one there, but someone's obviously opened it before. And I thought I'd just get it for my car. I used to have one of these and I used to have one of these as well, but I don't know where they are. So I just got some new ones. So this one I got from JB Hi-Fi and it's just for my camera. And then this one's for my phone, just to mount them in the car. And then I also just stopped in at Priceline and got some new earrings. These ones here are the ones I use. They're just really affordable. And my other ones went a little bit yucky after being overseas and swimming so much. Yeah, it's only $15 and you get three. So I just get those. And I'm always getting asked where my like, studs and stuff are from. So yeah, I just get them from Priceline. And they're really affordable and they last, like not ages, but long enough. Sorry I haven't checked in this afternoon. I've just been getting a heap of editing done, but I'm finally finished. I'm going to order some Uber Eats for dinner and then snuggle up on the couch with these two wild Saturday night plans. I'm thinking I'm gonna have Indian for dinner because I haven't had it in ages and ever since I've been back, I've been craving it. And this place is really good. So I think I'm just gonna get, I'm not sure. Oh, I've ordered all this before and that was actually a really good order. I think I might just order that. Got it. Yum. I got onion bhaji, yellow rice, chicken tikka and then also vegetable korma and then butter garlic naan and it looks so good and then oh I miss you Neen. and then I need to work out what I want to watch as well what are people going to be thinking about me do you want to get to the end of your life and if someone asks you honestly how did you live your life do you want to answer truthfully scared I lived afraid afraid I wasn't good enough Afraid I wasn't worth it, afraid of what other people would think about me, afraid to lose people around me that didn't even love me or care about me or want me to be my best. I lived my life afraid. Or at the end, you want to say, man, I maxed out my life. I got all the emotions, all the memories, all the achievements. 
all the richness in every area out of my life. I maxed out my life. Well, I can tell you this, if you hold on to these anchors much longer, it's going to keep costing you. And the longer you do it, see, even these things, sometimes what holds us back is our feeling bad about things we've done in the past. That Good morning. I was just listening to some Ed Milet. I love him. If you guys haven't listened to any of his stuff, he is amazing. Jake and I call him dad basically because he just has dad energy and it's the best. He has a really good YouTube, just like there's like one specific one. I think it, it would probably be on his podcast somewhere, but I know the YouTube and it is so motivational. It's like 40 minutes. It was the first thing we ever listened to of him. There's like two specifically that are amazing that we first ever listened to and they just change your life honestly they put you in the most insane mindset and his whole you know i guess point mostly is that he wants you to be the maxed out version of yourself so he wants you to be the best person you can possibly be when you look back on your life you want to meet yourself you want to meet the version of yourself that is the best possible version and uh, you know when you cross over or whatever you believe in. You want to meet them and be like, wow, I actually got pretty close to that. And you're really proud of yourself. You don't want to look back on your life and meet this amazing version of yourself and have so much regret and be like, wow, I didn't even come close, you know? So that's what he's all about. And he has so many amazing little podcasts. Even I listened to one yesterday and it was about problem solving. And it literally goes like 20 minutes. It's so short, but basically he was saying, you if you have a problem in your life you need to solve it basically immediately because the more energy you give to this problem the bigger it's going to get and the worse you're going to feel the more effort and energy you're giving to a problem is just going to make this problem worse than it needs to be and you're going to feel so shit and i was like you know what that is so right if you literally just squish a problem get it over and done with don't put any thought or energy into it the problem is basically gone so obviously that doesn't apply to all problems but 85 percent of problems would be like that so if you guys need a good listen and my lad he had some longer ones he has some shorter ones he also has some podcasts with people i just love him speaking himself mostly um and he also has a book called the power of one more which is really good as well but that's sort of the power of one more i've read i just prefer listening to him though so do with that what you will but yes i'm gonna walk the boys now i love sundays and i'm gonna come back just do a tidy of the apartment, I think. Let's do it. You boys excited? And here we are. Tyler, you pass. Hi, Hi. Ah. You guys get excited. Ah. It's literally like wrangling to quarters. Come on, let's go. All right. Yep. When people ask me how well behaved my dogs are, Look at this, this is the answer. Just making myself a Sunday morning treat. I just made myself a matcha, it's so good. I've got some honey in here as well. And then I'm just having some French toast. I'm just using this brioche sliced loaf for my French toast. And then I'm also gonna dunk the French toast in some cinnamon sugar, I think. I've actually never had that before and I feel like it'll be really yummy. And then I also have some fresh berries that I need to wash. And then I'm obviously not gonna have all of these, but I just put them in the bowl because I need to wash them all. And then yeah, I'll have some of them and then put the rest in a container to have throughout the week. This looks so good. I just coated all of the French toast in some cinnamon sugar and it smells amazing. I'm so excited to eat this. Yum, this is so good. Would absolutely recommend giving this a try. It is so yummy and these berries are really big and juicy. I'm obsessed with them. They're so good. This matcha slaps. Mm. Yeah. Time to clean up the chaos. Jake always hates how much mess I make when I'm cooking, but it just has to be done. I really don't mind the fact that I use a million dishes. They're going to get washed anyway, so it's fine. This is the matcha powder I used. I got it off Amazon, and it's really good. It's just called Pure Gym Matcha. And then I also just put this honey in it just a little bit. Put that together. Um, this is the cinnamon sugar I used as well, and it was really yummy. It's just from Kohl's.
Kitchen and apartment are all looking nice and clean again. I've just finished editing a heap of content. I had to finish editing the video from this morning. Basically, I filmed making breakfast this morning. So that's all edited now, which is great. Editing content takes so long, I swear. I've just spent the morning editing this morning's video. So I filmed making my breakfast for TikTok and then I just finished editing that and it's literally taken me like two hours. It takes so long, especially when technology just doesn't want to be your friend. So if you ever have to get content, you guys know the deal. I'm gonna make lunch now as well. I think I'm gonna make that um, that dish I was telling you guys about yesterday, the feta, eggs, cherry tomatoes, and rocket. I'm just like in the mood for that. I feel like that'd be really yummy. The only thing that is weeding me out about it a little bit is I'm not used to having bread twice in one day. It's just not usually something I would do, but I think I'm gonna do it just because I'm really in the mood for it. But yeah, usually I would never, I know it's nothing, like there's nothing wrong with doing that, but usually I just wouldn't have bread twice in the one day. I just have a weird thing about it, but we're doing that today, so I'm excited. You guys already saw this yesterday, but I'm gonna show you again anyway. So I'm just gonna cook the rocket and the cherry tomatoes, just in the frying pan, I think, and then I'll just whisk some eggs and then sort of combine it all together, chuck it in the oven for a little bit so that feta goes all nice and cheesy. And then I'm just gonna use some of this leftover sourdough from earlier in the week. This tastes so good. I just had some of the mixture. So it's just the scrambled eggs, feta, cherry tomatoes, rockets, uh, and then some salt and pepper all mixed together and then just cooked in the oven for a little bit. And then I just topped it with some fresh basil as well. So delicious and fresh and tasty. Congratulations, I feel like I filmed so much in the past few days, so hopefully this vlog wasn't too long for you guys. I also finished reading Confess and it was so good. It's definitely my top three, I think. It's got just enough drama, just enough sauciness, and it was actually really funny as well. I definitely found myself laughing quite a bit at the start of it as well. So if you have been after some recommendations, I would definitely say it's up there with my top favorites of Colleen Hoover's. And I'm really sad that I didn't buy um, that book yesterday too late. Everyone was replying to my story today when I was posting about finishing Confess that um, that one's really good too and that's new apparently. I didn't even know it was new. I just thought I must have missed it before because I thought I'd read all the Colleen Hoover books now but that's a new one so I think I'm going to buy that next week and get stuck into reading that. But yeah, again, if you guys have watched the whole vlog, thank you so much. I love you and I will see you in my next vlog.